What up, y'all? Today, I'm gonna be doing a little time trial. I'm gonna be seeing how fast I can eat this Pizza Hut large pepperoni pan pizza. Uh, as you can see, the Pizza Hut logo, this random dude holding up cold pizzas. It's one of my go-to pizzas, and when I'm eating it lately, I've been pondering, how fast could I eat this pizza for real, though? Because I feel like I can get a top time. Not like an actual record or anything, but just for my, my own personal record. I just want to see how fast I can eat this, because I know I can get it under five for damn sure. Um, I, well, that's what I'm trying to find out. So let's take a look at this pizza real quick. I mean, oh, sliding, slipping, sliding, but overall, that's a nice looking, uh, that's a nice looking pie right there. I got a goal of under three minutes. Um, and one thing I always say is that Korean pizzas tend to run a bit small. So that's why I'm going to measure this just in case. Uh, this is 13 inches, it's a 13 inch pizza. So maybe, I don't know, maybe this is a medium where you're from. I'm, I'm really not sure. So I think my plan here is to just try to leave the crusts for last. I don't know, I was really debating it. Um, I'm still not sure if this is the best technique, but I'm taking this serious, y'all. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave the crust for last and only just try to annihilate and demolish this middle part and then pull out the water and try to get the crust down because the crust is a little bit more, uh, you have to chew it a bit more or else it'll scrape your throat real bad on the way down. I never practice any kind of like competitive eating tactics or techniques ever. So, uh, including today. So I'm just gonna be flailing a little bit. But like I said, I, I really wanna get under three for some reason. Maybe you wanna try this at home and challenge my time because you can get pretty much the same pizza here. This cost me 16 bucks and uh, I got a little timer here. So we're just gonna, should I get a thumbnail even? I don't know. I, I think I've let it cool off for a couple of minutes and I think that's pretty good. This is gonna be intense. I'm I'm hoping I can get under three. Let's just go for it. Three, two, one. Well, oh, Josh tired already.
3.16. I think that's like a Bible verse, famous one. Uh, I might need me some healing after this one, but uh, man, that was that was rough. A lot rougher than I thought. It took me a lot. Well, to be fair, I don't know. Some, I feel like some of the rules, because I'll be watching Matt Stoney, and sometimes he stops the timer right when he gets it all in the mouth. So if we're going by those rules, uh, I'm giving myself a three. Got a little good jaw pump going on. But um, if you're going by... If we're going by uh, legit, in my opinion, legit rules, where it's all all the way down the gullet, that's three sixteen. Not too disappointed in that time. I think I was really. Uh, I think most of y'all could not get. I don't. I think most of y'all couldn't get me on that one for a thirteen inch pizza hut pepperoni pan pizza. Uh, I challenge every single one of you, and I'm guessing that you'll probably get more like five because here's the thing i don't know if you've ever timed yourself eating fast like try to give yourself a little speed run but it always takes so much longer than you think the time just goes so by goes by so quick when you're eating Oof. I had to abandon my technique a little bit there again you know i don't claim to be any kind of like eating expert but yeah I just wanted to try something different like I said I've been really curious to see how fast I could just how fast I could do it try to get a benchmark for myself I mean yeah, like every time I do a challenge like this definitely have a whole new level of respect for actual like you know professional eaters or competitive eaters I should say Whew. but yeah simple little video for y'all hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video peace